All right, hi, this is Atticon, and welcome to Series 2, Episode 5 of our second look at Manor Lords. Now, we are, um, there are, well, <laughs> let me back up. There are so many things that we can do right now. We could work on this mess called Goldhoff. And we're going to. We are going to do that for sure. We need a few things. We need to do a few things here in Walbrand, but it's it's a not, at least it's stable, right? It's not. It it, it kind of sucks and it's stable all at the same time. So it's 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 okay. It's okay. Now this is a save of a load or load of a save rather. Excuse me. So we're going to have to go back in and reset those limits on the saw pits. I wish they would fix that. Do we need to reset him? No, see, he keeps his, so why doesn't the saw pit keep his? Um, we've got a worker here, we've got a worker here. All right, so Neil and Tarek made comments about this down here. Uh, first of all, um, this with the clay furnace. So Tarek's comment was, well, if you set the reserves to 10, does that just mean that when you use one it's down to nine? That they're going to go get more and what's the point in doing that well the point the reason you would do that is because if the reserve is set at 10 and they're going at when it gets to nine there's still nine in there so the whole idea is to keep old peter here crafting we want to keep peter busy and then gerhaz and fritz need to run around and get clay and get um firewood or fuel so that the clay furnace can keep running and Peter can keep producing tiles. So that's that's the whole rationale behind the reserve. Now, as for this, I, I, I've got to make up my mind. Neil said, you know, basically it was just make sure you set this to do what you want it to do, right? I'm not sure I want it to do anything because I'm thinking about it. There's no reason to store clay. We can store 50 in this. Maybe, uh, you know, and we can keep the, keep, the <laughs> keep the clay burning, so to speak, in this clay furnace. We can store the, uh, the ultimate uh, good, the, the roof tiles, right? And there's a fair amount right here in this. There's a large storage here in the clay furnace. So if we have, if we were to set up trading where we were going to trade those roof tiles, which, look at this, we already are, then there's no reason the trading post folks can't just go to the clay furnace and get that. We don't really need yet another storage device or storage um, unit here. So we're going to knock that down and see what we could do that would be better than that. Now, we wanted to get... We have 85 wealth. We need to get... I, uh, another comment Tarek made was, because he, he's a longtime uh, watcher and, and commenter, and uh, he's heard me say economic engine so many times. I'm sure he's sick of it. Probably all of you are. But if you'll notice, I haven't really done anything with that in this game, and that's, that's, that is a complete shame on me. And that's going to get fixed. Okay. Now, the economic engine, the, the main driver of money for your region is trade. It really is. You can get some money from upgrades of Burdigage plots, but your, the money comes from trade. So, we want to get to the point, oh, and this, and this village is making war bows, right? We have a Fletcher right here that's just cranking out war bows at an alarming pace. So, let's do this, first of all. Our poor spear militia just got wiped out by a <clears throat> by an unfortunate event. So we're just going to right click on that and and drop that militia unit. Then we're going to go in here and say we're making war bones. Okay, we're going to have an archer militia that comes out of Walbrand, and we see we've got 66 recruits out of uh, out of 36 to make. That's this one, so we would need 72 total to make a couple of units out of here, which we could easily do with all the war bows we're making. But what, where I was going with this, besides just strengthening our army, which is nice, but where I really want to go is we need to start trading those guys. We need to be, That's a money item. That's a big ticket item. We need to get there. So we need 425 coin to open this trade route for war bows. 
And how are we going to get there, given the fact that our trade right now amounts to uh, some planks and some roof tiles. Now, we do have routes, and I kind of regret that we do, but we have routes for these two. And the only reason I say I regret that we do is that we, we've got a special trader to give us the volume, but we each time you open a, a, a route, you bump up the price of all the rest of the routes. So that's why it's 425 for that the war bows instead of something a little more reasonable. But no, no matter, what we can do is look to see what can we trade to get us the money we need to open the route to give us the big money, right? So we, we, we got planks and roof tiles and eventually they would, they would probably take care of us. We might be able to speed this up by saying, you know, what if we were to trade, not, not open a route, but just trade, you know, passive trade with traders that happen by. What if we said we will export meat over uh, 100 and we'll export berries over 100 and we'll export vegetables because we're really producing a lot of vegetables over 100 and we'll export apples that are over 100 and see there are three a piece two a place piece for the veggies three a piece for the berries two a piece for the meat so we could do that for a bit and gather up some funds and get our archer um, our bows our war bows that's it that's a strange term war bows into a, a bona fide trade route and then start making some money. And then we can think about pulling back the trade on the food if we think that we're kind of outstripping our resources. Now here, oh, let's see. What's the other things we want to do here? We've got berries are going to come up in, in a little bit and I'm going to forget them, right? You know, we know it's coming. And we've got this over here that's on pause. I'm going to unpause that forager hut. I saw a post that said that three, two uh, gatherers in one, one in the other, in you know near this with a with a granary to help them to pull out the berries, can really you know handle this regular size deposit and get you hundreds of berries, right? And we've been doing okay on the berries, but. I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put three people on this right now because we're not coming back here for a while, and I will forget it. Uh, when March comes, I'll, I, I, I may not forget. You know, who knows? I might, but I don't want to trust myself at all. Uh, we're just going to, we're just going to set it, set it, and forget it, so to speak. So our one builder can build this, and we can gather up the mess here. We'll keep making the uh, tiles. We've already upgraded our church, which is nice. And if we get a little more money, um, we can think about upgrading this retinue, you know, making it a full 24, which would be nice. Expensive, but nice. Now, over here in Goldhof, this is where we're gonna make a lot of changes. The first one, this has to be finished, so let's just let it run until this, this guy gets finished. That was Okay, it's done. All right, good. If only, if only everything were so that fast. Okay, let's move out. Oh, enemy unit has been spotted. What in the world? Uh, that has almost got to be raiders. Uninvited, unannounced, unexpected raider. Oh, oh, wait a minute. A bandit camp. Oh, could that be it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're coming after our guys, which is great. Thank you come right on we could bring our archers out here too but we just yeah we don't need them and since they've already popped out we're going to set these guys now we get a bonus here a charge bonus so i'm going to set them on push forward and attack so they'll charge these guys and we'll have these our our guys are much tougher than their guys and they're just going to get slow oh we lost one ah, brag too fast Bragged way too fast. Goodness gracious. Okay. Okay. 
We will add that to our treasury. We'll go back here. We'll disband and spend a little bit of that money to replace the one we lost. Okay, so where was I? So I think that was I think that was the band. Oh, and we haven't taken this yet, have we? And we've got 931. So we the AI has not claimed a single region. We've got them all except this one. This one's a sweetheart because it just keeps spawning bandits. It's the only place they'll spawn because it's the only unclaimed region. And we just keep reaping the benefits. And we can do that until he decided to claim it. So I think I think just so we can say we did it, if we get the chance, if he doesn't claim it first, we are going to claim this region and have all of them except his starting to under our control. All right, so in Walbrand, is there anything else to do? Yes, the work area is empty, we don't care. Okay, um, over here now, lots and lots and lots to do, lots. Okay, been complaining about food, we're sitting here on fertile land, good grief, stop complaining about it and fix it. All right, so we've got fertile land, we can certainly grow wheat and get these guys a very dependable second food source and we've already got the setup to have a very nice first food source. I'm going to double him up and I and, um, and these double the double housing is is uh, I, I, I do not like it. I really goofed up right here by putting these in as double slots and I said way back when I said oh well it'd be all right when we when we upgrade them, we'll just we'll lose a family, a worker, no big deal. Ah, stupid, stupid. All right, so what we got? 14 people, housing for 20. Let's uh, knock that one down. Let's knock that one down. And let's move our lumber camp out here. And let's go move our woodcutter out there. Move our saw pit and we're gonna have to reset the reserve because this is the load. Move our hitching post. Well, let's do a road. Move our hitching post up here. Here. That's about everything there. And this poor, uh, should have, uh, let's, let's make these, the hitching posts, believe it or not, the highest priority. Because I want, we, this, this poor city, or village, little tiny village, has been suffering under an, um, let's call it an ox deficiency uh, the entire game now we did we made those moves but, but what we really want what I really want to do is fix the food the the meat and the berries and we're going to do that yeah, let's, let's look at have our queued this up and I'm not going well it's, I, it's too late now we need to get this done so let's uh, let's let's get that done All right, now that we have those two, do we have, th oh, we don't have any money, it didn't matter anyway. We've got, we need 30, um, let's see, over here, we're, yeah, on a, unfortunately, uh, we've got stone, we're, we're selling the stone, we're exporting planks without a route, which is fine, and I think that's about all we got going. Yeah, we haven't gotten into any... The idea here is this is going to be we're going to play off of this iron deposit and and uh, do what we can with that. Kind of like to get that done. I'd like to get that done right away. We need this, actually, for a lot of reasons, we need the storage to clear this out so we can build over it. All right, let's get somebody 
cutting logs and let's tell them to cut logs out there. Okay. It's already January. Uh, hustle, 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 guys. I got so much I want to get done. Okay, the wood cutting. Uh, we can hold off. Nah, nah, nah. We'll put somebody on it just because. I will forget. Oh, we want to, and we'd love to get the berries, the the food settled down and fixed. The saw pick, can we do without planks? Yes, we will keep. We won't staff that just yet. And we got 17 coins, so it's dribbling in. When we hit 30, we'll get a or no 20. Well, it should be a, one more trade, hopefully, and we will have uh, enough for an ox. And I'm going to build a road here just to speed that delivery up from the stone to the uh, trading post. And I also, I, I noticed, look at this. Uh, if I hit road and then all, this is the King's Road. I was thinking this was the King's Road and this was not. And I really would like to have the trading post right over here near our main storage. If I could like to have it, <laughs> maybe right there. So, um, that'll be in a minute. Now, what do I want to do? Time critical. It's January already. We need to give these people bread. It's silly to, to be on fertile land and not be making bread. So, let's go farming here. Now, let's look first at the barley fertility. We can do barley farming right through here. The emmer is, you know, pick a spot, pick a spot, any spot. So I think we'll just start down here. Or maybe even just wrap it right off of this and just go around. That would work. And I'd like to have like one acre, I'm sorry, one Morgan kind of uh, deals. And I... I really would like to, oh, that's good. I really would like to have um, the heavy plow for this, but uh, do we want to go there? Okay, that's a Morgan. That's a Morgan. So we'll make those three plots right there, and we'll put a farmhouse right there near them. All right, so we've got three plots. Now, do we wanna, I think we'll just make them wheat. We're gonna grow wheat here, barley up through here. Do we wanna get into barley right away? We only have four. So we're gonna need, I don't know how many, but to feed, just to feed this town, we'll f have to find out how many, um, fields we're going to need to get that done but but this will get us started toward that goal and we need more housing if we're going to do that kind of a thing um, and we need better hunting and what have you so so we get that queued up now let's go out here what we're going to do is we're going to move that we're going to move this um, hunting ground because I don't know if this is true, but it seems like it just doesn't replenish very well. And could it be because it's on this mountain? I don't know. It certainly is hard to get to. So we're going to take a hunting camp, which is doesn't cost anything. And we're going to go right out here and put it down. You'll notice they disappeared. Now we got to figure out where they went to. And if we look, look at this. I, I, oh. How perfect is that? They they actually went right to our road, right they're right outside our village now, basically. Uh, in fact, we have a forager hut right here, right next to them. So our hunting, 
can be moved can be moved over here we can connect with a road like this and our hunting camp now is right there on not so not so ridiculous I mean, they're, certainly you're still on a hill, but you're on the same level they are. This will be way better for the hunting. And now, here's the trick for the berries. Well, there is no trick. We can't move the berries. We can't place a forager hut down and force the berries. But what we can do is look at the slope and say, can we possibly get anything closer? So we see we can't build around here. It's just too steep. Now, it's good right there. It's good right here. This area, this area in here, we can build. And what I want to have, two forager huts. So show me the berries. Okay. I'd like to have two for, forager huts. Uh, let, me, let me do a road. Let's just do a road on down here. And up here. And then maybe hook it into the rest of the system here. It'll be alright. I don't think that... It's not going to matter with what we ultimately do, but it won't hurt anything. And actually, it could, it could come in handy later if we decide to trade between these two cities or barter between the two cities. So what we want here would be this forager hut and another forager hut. And we would want uh, a granary. Oh, that's lovely. That's absolutely lovely. They're right next to the berries. And this one up here, we don't want at all. I suppose we could have moved that one, but it's kind of the same thing. You get the supplies here, and they end up there either way. So we're moving the, ber the berry gathering. And, of course, we're putting that granary, which is important. So we've got five builders for that. We've queued up. Yeah, we queued up the farming stuff. I think given the fact that this really, well, both of these are high priority. <laughs> they really are. The, uh, the berries and the, um, the bread. Because we want to get started on this as quickly as possible so that we can get a little harvest this year. Um, did we? Oh, we haven't ordered the ox yet, man. This is going to really hurt us that we don't have the ox. Need some money. And we're going to get house blocked here. One, two, three, four. Can we get four? Burbage plots down here. We can. Once we have some more timber. But we'll hold off on that. Uh, 15, 60, I don't know, we really do need. How much we got? We got five. So why don't we do get two of them going? Okay. Okay, did we get hit 30 or 20 or 20? I think it's 20. Yeah, here we go. We'll order a second ox. We have already have we already have the stable space for it. You see all these stalls being built. We're gonna we're gonna play with that in a little bit. As soon as we get the berries straightened out, I think we've got the hunting straightened out a little bit. Or did we ever do anything with it? 
Where's our hunting lodge? <laughs> Did we move it? Oh, it's here. Maybe if somebody worked it, that would improve things. Okay. And then this granary now is not even is not going to take berries. It's going to be all meat all the time. And in fact, we will set its work area to be like like that, so it can get yeah you know, something like that. Okay. So this granary working in this area and getting meat. Okay. We are hunting. We're living on last year's berries. We're trying to get a farmhouse up and our... We're working on food is what we're doing. And I'm going to go ahead and set this up. What we're going to do is have... We're doing rotation, but not really crop rotation. We're going to have wheat. Then this one, we're going to have wheat. Then this one, we're going to have wheat down here in the third slot. So year one, year two, year three. It'd be one Morgan. We're going to farm one Morgan of, of wheat out of this farmhouse. And since one family can do 0.6 Morgan, we'll have two families in here. And I'm going to throw them in because I will forget. I really want this to get done. That one will be highest. The other one will be high, very high. And our granary will be high. And these two can be if you get those other ones done. Oh, and look at our influence. It's over a thousand from our tithing over here. So we're going to go in here and claim Iconal, which would give us, well, we would, we would have pitched a shutout. He got he got nothing. If this if this goes through and he doesn't fight us or whatever, we have pitched a shutout. Sixteen timber would be one, two, three, four. We want four plots down here. It's hard to see. Yeah, it's. I'm just trying to make sure that they have a a work area in the back, and it's a single. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. I know that's a long way to go, but it sure is taking a long time. And let's give them, we've got groundwater here, we can't build us. We can get groundwater right back here. We'll put a well down here so people living here can just go here. The only time they'll be taking the long journey will be to go to the church, which, oh, and this one doesn't have a church. <laughs> I forgot, this one doesn't have a church. It will have one soon enough, okay. We need to get this food straightened out. And really, the, probably the more important one is this, to get the bread. And we've got two families kind of idling. Yeah, that's okay. It's March. See it? Now this time, I, of course, 
Of course, since I've already done it, I remember. So it's March. They will go out and start working on that field. It's March over here. We want to make sure we're picking our berries. But that's right. Dummy left them in. So is this one up and running now? It is. So what we're going to do here is take one person off this and put them on this. So now we've got three people working this berry deposit and a granary oh, with a person in it that is whoa I could have sworn this one was already set up what are you this can take everything now forget berries what is this one doing is there another one up here storage granary this is my all-purpose one. It's taking all purposes. I, th I think uh, one this okay. This is this one is going to be berries, berries only, and this one is going to be apples. I think that's what what I had intended to run through here and get the apples, and then. I would think we have one for okay apples berries so don't mess with berries don't mess with apples yeah might want further restrictions down the road and I think we're cool on that so back here all right so let's just look take a look look at how lovely that is now that was uh, done with a little bit of sadness because this was such a little money maker influence maker for us but you know it is what it is. So, uh, let's disband these guys so we can edit them. Recruit a replacement for our fallen, uh, fallen soldier. And let's go, probably the big thing here would be here and commit our plan to put the uh, garrison tower with our manor so that we can have a retinue of 24. So that'll be the big job over here. And how are we looking on money? Look at this, 560. All right, we've racked up some decent money. So we can go to trade, we can go here, we can come down to war bows and say, okay, give us that trade route. And we're gonna start exporting trade bows if they're over 36, which is a militia unit worth. So that's five, five uh, coin a, a shot so that should be good money for us with a dedicated trade route and we can also look at our food and see um we traded away some berries i guess i wish i mean we're still good i think i think keeping them all at 100 is fine we're just going to keep keep that keep that going and the only thing i would say is do we have enough uh, people in this trading post Let's give them another one. Let's let's get some stuff in here to trade. See, we're trading the planks, firewood, planks, firewood, roof tiles, and meat, and there's and uh, more to come. So we're making some money there, and then that money filters to his pocket through taxes, which is good. Our pocket, I guess I should say. That's all good. Now Goldhoff, are we getting there on the? Oh yeah, okay. Two people jump in that one. One person jump in that one. This is still zero, but it's starting to grow, so that's perfect. This one is, uh, they should be working it. Yeah, they are, see there? They are working hard, and I'm always playing on fast forwards, so they look funny, but here they are, plowing away by hand. Hard, hard work. But they enjoy it. Okay. Now, we've got four houses being built. That's good. 
Where are they? Down here. Okay. We love, you now we need to get this built. It's going to take a while because we have to haul 10. One family has to haul 10 stone down there. But that's okay. We'll start seeing our berries picking back up. You are for vegetables, and the problem is we haven't had a person in there. Okay. Let's get these houses built first. So here we go. Look Look at this. Look how fast it's growing. Really want this. Come on, guys. I know that doesn't change the thing to make it highest, but I want it. I want it. I want what I want. Soon the beating sun. And then once we get that, we can go with the uh, church. We should have already had a church, of course. But that's all right. It's all right. We're learning. These guys are making great progress in getting all that till. They have to till the whole thing, and then they have to turn around and seed it. But they're doing great. We just upgraded our manor over here, which is good. Meat. Uh, zero, of course. Uh, he's running the market. Uh, is it time to mess with markets? Uh, I, I can't. We'll mess with markets after we get this done. We, we've got to get these. we got to get this granary. We've got to get these um, houses built. It's the stone that's, that's hurting us because we only have one family working on this. And I don't really know where I would want to drop somebody off at this point. I mean, we could drop off of timber for a minute if we wanted. Yeah, why don't we do that? Let's, get, let's give them another so builder. We need to get this done. So here we go. Looks like there's, yeah, they're seeding now. See, we've finished the, the plowing. Now we're seeding, and then it'll go into a growing phase. And typically, you would have this done in October of the prior year, so this would all be growing. It'd start growing immediately in March, so we're going to start, you know, a month, month and a half later than we really should be. All right, that's all cool. Now, now this is just growing. There's nothing for them to do. Let's watch them and see what they do. See, they're going to see that plowing by hand. They're actually going to go help with the vegetable farms. Because that's kind of farming too. It's lower priority to them, but it's that well, I'd actually, these people might actually live there. Yeah, they, they do. I take that back. They're doing that because they live there. Um, do I dare? No, I'm not going to take them off because I know me, I'll forget. And our guys are struggling to keep up, and I think. Yep, and it's because of the granary. We've got to get this thing done. Oh, it is done. All right, good. We're going to, we're going to turn everything off. We're going to make it only berries. And we're going to give it a limited work area. Right there. So you just stay right in there and work. And now we're going to do something I think will be quite useful. This is a tip I got started uh, from Strat Gaming, uh, kind of, sort of. Um, maybe I'm giving him too much credit for this one. But there's a... No, that's no, I, no, that's, that's true. It was a comment. I saw a comment by Dark X. He's a new YouTuber, just started making videos. Uh, go check him out if you, if you feel like it. But... Um, he discovered a way to do the move, actually move these markets that make sense. Because here's what happened. I started this before, and I was going to move all the markets. And what I did was I set up a new area where I wanted the markets. And what would happen is even though I was moving markets physically into that area, picking them up and relocating them, it was building other markets. And they were even building right on top of each other. It was a mess, and I was 
not enjoying it. But this way, I'll unsnap. Um, this way is kind of kind of cool. Um, you see that? We, we see this available stall locations zero. So there's no stall locations there, but it's a little marketplace. So there, nobody's going to try to build something in there. Now, what we're going to do is go find an existing food stall like this one, and we're going to relocate it out here. Right next to that storage. Now this guy is berries only. He can only work in this area, right? And what we want, we want this, whoops, we want this um, abandoned food stall to get built. Come on out here and build this thing, somebody. Anybody. Okay, now we have a food stall. Who's running it? A granary worker. Is it this granary worker? It is, okay? So now he's got a food stall right next right next to him. He's running a food stall and he only works in this area. So we should be able to gather berries, put them in a stall, and have them available for people. We're also even going to give them some housing out here. So eventually when we fill this housing, our foragers and our granary worker here are all going to live where they work. And we even, we're even going to throw in a well, so the only trip they'll make where it's, you know, a long one is the church. And we could, I mean, we could even put a second church in if we wanted to. But uh, you can put a small church in and let them go there. But now we got to get this thing done. And again, we're down to one, one family working. And do we have, oh, you know what? I actually think that the houses, at least a couple of them, are the higher pro priority right this second than the uh, wooden church. I know that maybe that's sacrilegious, but uh, I, I do not. I want we want to keep growing, and we're we're house blocked. We've messed up here. Pro oh well, yeah, I deleted the houses. <laughs> that would do it. I created my own problem, naturally. And we don't have anybody on timber just because we're trying to get in our labor. And see, see, we just got ahead. There we go. I think we must have finished one. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Does somebody live here? Yes. Bartholomus lives here. He's unassigned. So what we're going to do is take our granary. We're going to unassign that person and we're going to say Bartholomus, he's building up his family, he's going to be assigned to the granary and hopefully I haven't messed up our market, he should pick up that market, his family should, with all those berries in it. Who owns this? A forager? Well, no, we don't want that. Which forager? Alright, when you work in this area, you only work in this area. You guys only work in this area. 
and I want this particular food stall really to be run by somebody here. So which one do you own? You own that one. So what family is this? Old Heinz and Gerhaz and Indris. Heinz, Gerhaz and Indris are going to be relocated to the granary. And we'll take one off and put it over here. So you are unassigned. How did that happen? Take one off, put you here. That food stall and we'll see what happens here. They're running a food stall way up here too. Um hmm. here let's upgrade that six eighteen seventy man we, gotta, we have so much we need to get done what a mess the city is and we need, need to haul stone Those stuff's probably where I deleted. Yeah, look at this. I deleted supplies. There's nobody to pick up the berries, they're just gonna rot. It's a shame. It is a shame. All right, we have a church finally. Now, let's rebuild. Let's get these houses down here built next. Okay, we've got a little gold. Sorry, I'm thinking to myself. Okay, I'm talking to myself, I guess. Let's make this the highest priority and make this very high and then that should allow me to go back up here and put some single units in here that's what I hope we can do like about four of them that would be great who were they all single unit oh crap I, I don't know I did that too fast I could use an undo button Let's try this again. We go here, 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 and here. They're all, they're perfect. Okay, gorgeous. All right. And they'll just be medium priority. This is going to give us 18 out of 72, but you can see it's barely in its growth. So we've got we've got some time. We're going to get a decent harvest out of this for our first year. All right, good. These are done and people live in. Okay. So now. Uh, this family here 
Where do they live? In a bad place. Okay. Okay. You are probably out of sign. Yep. You're going to go pick berries. You are probably out of sign. Now this is a lot of... These people are good. These people are not. The first people need to come off there. Linhart and Dorothea. Dorothea. They need to come off. So, well, they don't have to. But which, which ones are they? And they're running a food stall up here, which we clearly don't want anyway. We can unassign both of them. And we can look at these houses. I wish it was easy to see where they were. Uh, they're unassigned, so they will go there. This house is unassigned. They will also go there. This house is a forager, probably over there. That's fine. And this house, I think is, yeah, it, no one's moved there. And the granary worker, where do they live? Yeah, they live over here. So once somebody moves into this house right here, which should be the next people to live in, move in, they will be in the granary. And just a quick look over here to make sure I haven't gone nuts. Look at this, we're still picking the, look, you see that jump from 23 to 50, 50 some? But we're picking it right back down. We're getting plenty of berries and amazing amounts of vegetables. Good meat, good apples, good money. Excellent, excellent. And let's do this. Let's look at Waldbrand uh, population. 67, we have 70 males and we need 72 to have two full archer militia so we just need another burgage plot and i don't know i mean we could put it out here if we wanted to but yeah let's just let's throw one down right here i don't want to double but i do want to work ah, uh, they really, the, the cursor and the hints are in bad places in this game. That would be my UI uh, critique. It's uh, the, the, the help that's telling you what you're doing is sitting right over top of your cursor half the time. So it's not, the problem is you, you can't tell what you're doing. It's because of the help trying to tell you what, what you're doing. <laughs> All right, so what do we got here? What do we got? Look at that, 72 out of 72. We're going to get a full... If we wanted to do this manually, we could go ahead and just say, go, go get this stuff right now. But there won't be enough time to replant and grow it again, I don't think, before... Out. I'm, I'm doing it the lazy way. Berries, we're picking like... Now, seasonal means this isn't growing, right? So we've already picked through the growth phase. But look at the berries we got. And once those five are gone, this thing will be done because it won't grow anymore. And then it'll hit a, a shrinking phase, which will be irrelevant for us. Uh, let's see here. Let's just watch this. And when it hits zero, then we're basically done picking berries for this season. And our granary here has 278 stored in it. I wonder if the stall has anything. That would be a 
Yes. Ah, now crap. I hate that. I hate the fact that he thinks he needs to put... Ah, that ruins it. If he thinks he has to put meat and veggies in there as well, it kind of ruins the beauty of it. The beauty would be if he would just put berries and put 50 berries, which would be fine, or however many, up to the limit of plots that we have or however they do it. Uh, that would be great, but unfortunately he's hiking to get other stuff. That kind of sucks. But speaking of which, how are we doing just kind of... Yeah, yeah, our second food type... Our, Everything's great except the food. And the hunting still sucks. Even though we've got a hunting camp like practically practically in there with them. Oh, maybe maybe this is hurting us as well. Having that, I goofed up there by upgrading this granary. I was going to build a granary right here and then upgrade it, then do all the stuff. Now I thought, ah, this is close enough. Plus we can move the market wherever we want it, right? And which is what I intended to do. Unfortunately, what I intended to do and what I did aren't the same thing. So we still need a second food supply. And the veggies, I'm not getting the veggies. Why aren't there more of them? Oh, man. Put somebody in here in your veggie storage. Oh, they don't really have any. There's one in that one. You can start vegetables. Now, how is it that we have berries and vegetables? Oh, I guess it's just going to that house. Which we could upgrade. Or we could demolish it. We got those are our two options. I think we could demolish this one. And I think we could build some plots this way. I think we could get three good ones here. Probably get two. I don't know. I don't want a double wide. That's too small. Let's start building that one. Need to get this lumber out of the way. Let's turn the, speaking of which, let's turn the lumber back on. I've still got plenty of firewood. Now, I, yeah, let's just um, let these people go. We'll keep this granary. It's running this stall. 
but somehow got vegetables in it. Which he isn't supposed to be taking and it's outside his work area, but anyway, there they are. <laughs> And I don't know what's taking so long to get this done. Anybody got any? Come one, come all. Feast series on that. Fine selection. Okay, September will be our harvest. So we're going to stick with this, even if I have to fast forward through some bits. To get our first harvest here and let's prepare for that we're going to want we're probably going to do some more fields through here let's put our windmill right near this uh operation here we need a windmill uh through snapped roads and the efficiency kind of is irrelevant 98 would be fine the more the, the way you get the efficiency is get it close to what it needs we're going to have a communal oven close to that. And then um, our warehouses, there's no reason for them to take, well, barley or flax either. But they don't need to take, I don't think it's the warehouse, it's the granary. Okay. This granary, which is under construction, The other one's out of range, right? And this one, for some reason, we can't seem to get any interest in building. I'm, I'm at a loss here. We've got stone, we've got planks, and you would have to have them anyway to even do that up. What in the world? I think there's something wrong there. I really do. Let's see if we can get this one built. There's no hovel. Tomorrow, why don't you hovel? Five days we start our harvest. Yay. But see, look how quickly they got that over there. They couldn't, they couldn't seem to manage to do anything with this. Look at that. Got all that stuff over there right away. Okay, it's September. So we should start seeing harvesting activity out here. And we are. We're out there harvesting our crops. And we'll put a person. Yep, these are these are being built. We'll get this granary straightened out. And of course, we're just going to go ahead and upgrade it. So they'll harvest all that wheat put it in the middle, then they'll take it to the farmhouse. Here we go. We're taking it to the farmhouse in here. And then that wheat will be threshed into grain. And however much we harvest, 
72 will be 150 bread eventually. Running out of fuel and wall bread. Does that mean that we're not uh, running our woodcutter's lodge? No, it doesn't mean that. What's going on? Are we selling all of our firewood? What's going on? Uh, we have a oh yeah, we have an export route for for the fire, but that was silly. That was a waste of money. We should have just done it passive trading. All right, now they're doing the uh, tilling for next year, and we've got 72 wheat now. We won't see any wheat come up, grain come over until they finish this. When they finish this task, they will get on the grain. So I think what we'll do to help them out, we'll give them a couple of helpers. Throw some bodies at it. Waldbrand probably has, yeah, because we're just making so many vegetables. We can't hold all the vegetables. We really should have a granary for the vegetables. I thought I did, and I just messed this up. This is all. Both cities suck. That's what I think of our build over here. Let's build another granary here. We'll make it a vegetables granary as soon as we can. Man, we're blocked for housing again. All right, we're going to upgrade this one. Don't want the double wide. I think I can put a road in here and kind of force it to be smaller. Yeah. I think I can put a road in here and force it to be smaller. Yes. And then I think we can Remove the roads. And we have a little, little greenway for them. A little park. Alright, let's get bread production going and then we'll call it, call it an episode. So, why don't you prioritize that? 21, 21, 2. And we really do need more housing because we're, we're, we've are we got to grow some more to be able to do the, the things that we were that we made this whole thing for. The whole point of all this. Okay, do we have any grain? We don't have any grain yet. What in the world happened? Did they, did they start plowing the wrong field? Somebody in here, somebody in here. They're off plowing vegetables.
Okay, as soon as this is peeled and then planted, the seeding shouldn't take long. starting to see some grain and we should start seeing some grain coming over here that transporting is a good sign seeing flower and our bakery folks have been activated and our bakers are reporting for duty they're going to the mill and getting some flour and we will start making our first bread hooray for us so we have bread good for us I think We've got our nice large one here. We'll put four people in it. And what do I want to tell it to do? Don't take crops. Don't take flour. Don't take grain. Actually, don't take anything. And what we want you to hold would be bread. See, so we've got a vegetable granary. We don't want fruit, we don't want meat. You can do eggs. Uh, that's enough for now. And we'll quit once we see our first uh, bread show up here. Now, now notice the food varieties. We got vegetables, we got meat, we got berries. Oh, our meat finally is looking decent. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. This is so much better. And we haven't even messed with the markets here. Um, but the good thing is they're in such a good location, it's okay. All right, food varieties 100%. We've got bread coming in. We've got a happy village. Plot level two. We're going to go up one level and start making, for example, we're going to start doing the cob. We're going to have a cobbler to make shoes from our leather, which is starting to be a good supply. And uh, that'll, that'll get us started toward our next level of, of uh, upgrades and okay now just that just that little change has turned this into a decent village just cleaning up this berry picking cleaning up the the hunting moving the hunting to to a decent spot where we could actually hunt and uh and just one little set of farms here and and these guys here of course they don't need to be we don't need so many of them in there and um, we really don't need it any right now. This is done, right? It's in it's in its growth stage, and we'll get. It. And you can also see how we could do manual farming and not do the automatic crop rotation. And you can see how you could get multiple harvests out of the same field, uh, and just monitor how, how what your workers have done. And, and do it that way and just, you know, we could really pump it up. But I, I don't want to micromanage that much. I want to see how, how we can make it work automatically in a set it and forget it kind of mode so that we can give these people plenty of bread and then we'll see, figure out how much we actually need and um, we'll go from there. We know that a communal oven, if you could keep it with flour, it can make, uh, one person running it can make about 80 uh, a month. But 
then that has to back up to, to 80 flour, which is 40 wheat. And this is only giving us 72. And we would need 40 wheat a month in order to keep this running. But we don't need it running all the time because we, we don't have 80 families to feed, right? So we need about a little over a fourth of that. We need about 10 a month. 10 a month, and this has given us not quite that. So we probably need it. We certainly need another setup. We'll work on all that in the next episode. I feel much better. Um, this is a much better city than it was, or village than it was. It's still, it still kind of sucks, but it's better. This one is, is like, sucks, but it's beautiful. I mean, it's just, it's just weird. It works, it works just fine. It's making money, but look at this, no fuel. What in the world? Are you cutting wood? Advanced? Oh, maybe its area was out here. I don't know. I wish they would, I wish when you brought them up it would show you the area that they're cutting in. I think that might have been a where are you cutting problem. And it's also a he's running a stall. All right. All right. Sorry. We're going to fix this too because I, I think I'm going to have a gap here. I'm not going to be with you guys for a little while. And, um, I would like to leave you with something good. So why don't we let's fix that woodcutter problem, or at least improve it. Why don't we improve it like this? Let's use our little dark X trick and let's go build a little, you know, little stall with no locations, like that. There we go. A market with no locations. Let's go get his firewood stall and move it. Move it over here. Get to work. Can't see it for the trees. Is there a view where you can not have the trees? I'm not aware of one. If there is, somebody tell me in the comments. Okay. Let's build this. Okay, it's already built. You should pick it up. It's abandoned. Well, <laughs> you should pick it up. Oh, there's some, somebody got it. There. Now, he's running the stall. Is that perfect? No, but actually it's not so bad. The stall is right next to him, right? So he takes firewood, he puts it in the stall. So that should be better. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, they really are low on firewood. I think he was cutting out here. He just ran out of trees. But now we've got this nice forested area. We've got these three foresters huts and we're seeing, we want to see if we can keep a logging camp and a woodcutter's lodge going perpetually with these foresters huts. That's the idea and we'll find out. All right. Um, so maybe that helped. We'll find out in the next episode. This one's so much better. So uh, I hope you uh, I hope you're enjoying this. I, I'm enjoying playing the game. I hope you'll uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you'll join us for our next Manor Lords video. Thank you.